What's up? How you doing, Max? Hey, Max, but a lot of people, a lot of call me sometimes. Trying to find bacteria. Let's get started. Know what's time. So, you FaceTime on my channel. Make sure you subscribe right here. You can follow me on Instagram and all the social media. Let's get started, okay? So, now let's say suppose the consumer price index or index of this month is. Uh, uh, let me start with the second one. Excuse me. So, now this is so I can have enough space. They take, they say, the take home pay of Mr. Gaza. You know what I'm saying? And the CPI for 2003. Oh, CPI for 2000. That could be 2003. It must be another year. I must have made a mistake. Let me check careful. Yeah, 2003 and 2007. Oh, no. This must be 2016 and 17. I have made a mistake. 16 and 17, unfortunately. So it must be 16 and 17. Okay? This should be 16 because 16 and 17. 16 and 17. My apologies. And 17. Uh, according to your question, that's how it's written, but I think it's the matter mistake. Uh, Mr. Pay, Mr. Gaza, the CPI for 2016 and 17 are as follows. Means, so this year 2016, his take home pay. Like, oh, this is my salary right here, I'm going home with. This one, 25,000, 20, uh, 200,000, uh, 250,000. But his CPI is uh, just like how we see 2017, he go home with more money. Look, more money, man. But there's a CPI there. So now they ask you, what is Mr. Gaza's real income? Like his real income. You know what I'm saying? We want to find out. It's easy to get that. Okay, so this is how you're going to get real income. So now this is a solution. I've decided to draw a table just every time to save your time. So yeah. So let's start here 2016. So how do you get real income? It's very easy. What you do is take, take your takeaway home income, divide by the CPI, multiply by 100. That's easy like that. You know what I'm saying? So we will say now, take this amount, for example, for 2016, take the takeaway home, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, divide by his CPI, CPI is 10, 0 0.80, and then multiply by 100. And this is going to give us his real income, but for which year? 2016. So it's going to give a real income. So take that one, put in the calculator, when you put in the calculator, it's going to give you 243, 243. Uh, 190, 190, and then 0.66. Excuse me, for 2016. So we're going to do the same game because we still want his real income. Real income, you know what I'm saying? For 2017. So we do the same game. So it's 2017. Now we're going to take his take home income. 42, 42. Okay, how many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4 over his CPI. 1, 1, 1. 1.5, and then you multiply by 100. And finally, this is going to give us 376, 376, 681, 0. 0.61. You know what I'm saying? So, the, his real income for 2017, that one in 2016, just like how we see. Now, the second one is uh, for C. For C, interpret your findings. To interpret your findings is easy. It means you minus those real income. You know what I'm saying? So now, interpret your finding. So now we're going to say to get the finding. So now for C, how are we going to get finding? To get a finding, or you can say, okay, Mr. Gaza, take home pay increased by. So findings like, what is take home pay was increased by? I Means 2016 was this. 2017 was this. So when they say in, interpret the findings, like they want to know, okay, uh, how was the increase of what it take home? You know what I'm saying? So we're going to say, oh, in other we can say, okay, this interpreted the finding meaning, meaning uh, take home pay increase. So this is Mr. Gaza, take home pay increase. Mr. Gaza, excuse me, take home increase. His take home increase, take home increase, like how did it increase? You know what I'm saying? Increase how we can get there means we must take 2017 because this bigger minus that because it was increased and did not decrease. You know what I'm saying? But in other case, if it decreased, then you have to find that like how it gave to you. So now it was increased from two da, 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 to this one. So I'm gonna say this minus that three seven six six eight one point six one minus two four three huh? Six six. So this is gonna give me. One, 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 three, four, nine, zero, point nine five. You know what I'm saying? Point nine five. So look, hey man, you face time. Oh, now nah, we're not done yet. We go to the question number one. 
Question number one. So you see, I got space here. That's what I was looking for. So now we can raise this and get space. So we have already the income and the interpret the finding. So this meaning, this is interpret the finding. This one right here is inter. It's interpret your finding. Like what I have got. Interpret. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, that's what you got. What you have found. Now break down for me. What did that mean? Oh, so that means Mr. Gallus take home increase by this. You know what I'm saying? So that's I have already interpreted what I have found. Already interpreted what I have found. Interpreted. Preted. Preted. Who? Huh? I forgot the spelling. Interpreted. Interpreted. Oh, my find. My find means for means for what I have found here. Okay, cool. Now let's go to question one. So let me try to make a space here quick. Oh, man, that's a very easy question, man. Okay. Make a space here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go quick. Good. I don't need this, man. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I don't need this. Okay, make space here. Quick, make, quick, make, quick, quick, quick. Oh, 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 when they ball look for you, what you gonna do? <sighs> okay, so now let's erase quick, quick. Let's wipe here. Okay, this is one of those easy questions. It's just... What's so, up? How you doing, man? So easy. Suppose the consumer price index. So now, they want us to find the purchase power. It could be in whichever money. It could be dollar, Canadian dollar. Nigerian Nada, Tanzania shillings, you know what I'm saying, or Kenya shillings, or whichever, uh, whichever money we got, you know what I'm saying, Ghana, CD, or whatever, okay, cool. Now, let's say here, suppose consumer price index of this month's balance, so I give you consumer price index is given, so now they're saying what is the purchase power in dollars, so we have a very small formula that you can calculate this, to calculate the uh, purchase power, but for this case it's in dollar, it can be money, any money, but for this case, so it's going to be purchase power in dollar for this case. In dollar means you put your one dollar here. And then you divide by price index always. So what is it? Uh, consumer price index? So price index means consumer price index. Excuse me, I didn't finish. Consumer price index right here. And then you multiply by this one here, which is 100 for this case. So if they say uh, purchase power in grand, it means you're gonna write one grand, and then go to your consumer price, consumer price index, whatever they're gonna give here, you write here, and then you multiply by this one right there, whichever number they're gonna give you. That's hundred. So we say okay. So purchase power, power in dollar. For this case, in dollar. That's why here we put one dollar. On US dollar over consumer price index. What is the consumer price index for this case? Uh, the consumer price index for this month is 125. So 125.0 times by that number, which is there. So put that in a calculator, and this is going to give you 0 0.8. But remember, this is a consumer price in dollar, so you're going to write dollar. That's how you do it. <laughs> it's easy like that, man. You face time, make sure you click here, right here, subscribe, share to a lot of people. Please, I'll be very, very happy to respond to your comments. Leave uh, comments there, you know what I'm saying? It kind of motivates me to, you know, to keep on support you. Thanks a lot, man, you know? Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out.